Yo, I'm back. Oh, no. Yo, I'm back, broskies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Anyways, back with another stupid video where I review basically nothing and spend my pointless moments on this earth talking to you guys because that's what I do. I'm a 13 year old who plays Call of Duty, looks at dinosaur images on eBay, and that's it. Living the life here, buddy. Anyways, today we got two Kenner, or well, one's a Kenner, Kenner trip. I'm sorry, I'm really hot. I'll be back. Magic fan. Alright, I'm back. We got one Kenner figure, and we got another one as a Kenner tribute. Let's just pan this down a bit. Uh, let's begin with the review. First off, we got our first figure of the day, which is the Kenner Pteranodon. I got this the 8th, so a review is long overdue of this figure. So let's start off with the basics. Let's, let's see if we can get closer. So look up this, at this guy. I, is there no flash? There's, there's, there, there's no flash. Okay, so I couldn't get the flash to work, so we're going to have to work with this. Anyway, so we got the good old Tyranodon. It's head sculpts on wait hold on wait oh yeah I have LEDs there we go maybe you guys can see better now we just there we go okay now it just looks creepy like I don't think you guys need to see this guy staring into your soul okay anyways well so we're stuck don't ask why I SpongeBob that was literally there since I was a little kid so let's start off with the view because I'm getting sidetracked I hate my ADHD anyways so the first figure we got is the Kenner Pteranodon, of course. Um, this Pteranodon. It has nice detail, but once we get down to the nitty-gritty, you guys will start seeing why I have a few complaints with this figure. So, the first thing, I love the head scope. It's just these three little dots that I still don't understand why they're there. Possibly a resonating chamber, possibly something, I don't know. The neck is really thin, really thin, like to the point where they added bone textures to indicate that it's super thin. The other thing that I've realized with these Pteranodons, like the Quetzal, is that they have their exposure, the exposed rib cage. I'm not a big fan of shrink wrapping. Shrink wrapping on some creatures is okay, but shrink wrapping on like creatures like a Pteranodon is, in my opinion, a little bit weird, considering the fact that they were viewed as like coated in feathers and i know it was kenner at the time of 1998 i mean 1997 but still it was i don't know it was just it's still kind of also i'm getting a i'm fixing this guy down here that i'm saving later for for the review goes up there so it looks a lot more finished anyways back to review and then we got the bony arms like, they're so bony that you can literally see the bone tendons. It's just really, the string crap is immeasurable. And the legs. Bro's legs are literally skinnier than mine. So are his arms. Bro's arms literally, ha he skipped leg day and arm day. Like, hold on, hold on. I was going to do a comparison to something else, but it's okay. But, okay, but now we should get on to the action features. Because the action features for this figure actually make up for the actual model. So, let's start doing that. So you plug in these for one of the action features. You can plug these two in thing, these two things in. What I've learned is, since my hands are too big, since my hands are actually ginormous, like it's literally half, not the entire body size of this thing. This thing's huge. If you hold the wings and you press the little button on the side with the flaps, that they actually shoot out. So that's a pretty cool thing. Also, these little talons can grab action figures, which I thought was also really cool. And then another thing, well, the action feature can pop its wings, and then you can uh, open and close the mouth. The action features are pretty cool. Uh, th this, I like this because you can pick up, like, let's say a kid's playing with it, and, like, you know, even Mattel doesn't even do this. <laughs> so props to them. Um, but uh, JP22, I really like this figure. Uh, I'm going to have to give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. I really like the design. The, actually, you know what? I'm gonna buff that down to a seven out of ten because of the design. I don't really like the design. It's it's a good figure. It's just eh. And now we have this thing. Demon Carnotaurus custom, custom. Yes, it's a Demon Carnotaurus. There's actual dino damage for this figure. So let's look at the box first. So there's Demon Carnotaurus. It's backwards because it's a stupid thing. Capture gear. You know. 
Comes with attack. Top box. Oh shoot! It says Jurassic Park. On the back, we got the original Kenner stuff. We got the new uh, ha uh, releases for the uh, Mattel line down there for like a little Kenner feel or whatever. And then Connoisseur's Demon. There's not much on the other side of the boxes or the underneath, but you know. and we can get to the figure now. So the figure, honestly, let's just get out as accessible real quick. Okay, hopefully they didn't break. Okay, thank God they didn't break. Just technical difficulties here, mateys. Anyways, so the actual figure, I made him. Uh, he's not that bad. I kind of wish he was a little better, per se. I got a lot of people saying that it's a really good figure and a really good sculpt. But, I mean, not sculpt. It's a really good uh, custom paint job. Honestly, I feel like uh could have been a lot better. Also, I've realized his head... Wait, is his head crooked? His head is crooked. What the mac and cheese doodles? His head's crooked. How did that? Are they all crooked like that, or is it just like my connoisseur is just drunk? I think my connoisseur is just drunk. Anyway, um, I painted it like to the original. I may do a repaint because I don't really like it that much. It's not that bad. I'll live with it for now. And then there's of course the Dino Damage slot, which I like a lot considering in fact it looks like it's real Dino Damage and it actually pokes out. And then if we get where is the Oh, wait, yeah, it's right. It's up here now. All right. Dino damage, buddy. Yes, that's right. And he's got capture gear, too. Goes right around here. That's his, it's that little dino tracker. I need to paint it fully. It's like the paint's chipping off of it. But, yes, I made this figure. The paint scheme's a little bad, but, you know. Some get, some, one of my friends said that they wanted me to do a giveaway, but honestly, personally, it's not that good. I thought it would be a cool little Kenner tribute because Mattel never really released images for a Carnotaurus, so I thought I'd take it into my own hands and make one. Uh, if you wonder what the dino damage looks like up close, that's what it looks like. There's a little bone inside that actually sticks out. Originally, there's supposed to be two bones in there. It just, I don't know what happened to it. But personally, I give my own figure like a six out of... 10 to a 3 out of 10. It's not that good. It's a very bad figure. I dropped, you know what, I don't even care. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, I'm not going to do a dance party because that takes way too much editing. So, you know, instead we're going to have the over, an over top uh, exit with uh, blasting music. So turn down your headphones. I'll see you guys then.